One of our favorite traditions is celebrating St. Nicholas Day. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and this is A Common Life and today I want to share with you some of the traditions that we have for St. Nicholas Day. St. Nicholas Day is December 6th and there are really fun traditions that you can do with your family. We do not do anything with Santa Claus in our home, we just focus on the history of St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas was a real man who lived in the 4th century in a place called Mira, which is now Turkey. And he was a very rich man because his parents died when he was young and left him all of their money. But he was also a very kind man, and he was known for always helping and giving to the poor. There are many different legends about St. Nicholas, and some of them are kind of silly, and some of them are wonderful. Our favorite one that we love to celebrate is the story about the poor man who had three daughters. Now these daughters did not have enough money for a dowry. And so at night, St. Nicholas would sneak to their window and drop a bag of golden coins into, down the chimney and into the house. Some stories say he dropped them down the chimney. Some stories say he dropped them right into the stockings. But regardless, the story is all the same that he gave his gold coins to these poor girls because they had no money of their own. And so that's why we always give our children gold coins with their St. Nicholas gifts. Most of us know all about Santa Claus, but that was a tradition that was created in the UK, particularly in England, and he became Father Christmas or Old Man Christmas and lots of different names that he goes by. And this tradition carried over to France and Austria and Germany. And then here in the United States, some people started calling him Kris Kringle, and then eventually he became Santa Claus. Santa Claus is not exactly the same as St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas was a real man. He wasn't a roly-poly happy man who lived at the North Pole. He was a real person and he was a bishop of the church. The first thing that we love to do on St. Nicholas Day is the evening before, all of the children put out their shoes by the front door or by the fireplace. And they know that when they wake up in the morning, there's gonna be something fun in their shoes. And every year I like to put in an orange and some chocolate coins. And I also like to wrap them up a book. Then after the kids have opened up all of their treats in the morning, we will sit down and read together the story of St. Nicholas. I have several books that our family really enjoys. And then after that, we will all have breakfast together. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing that takes a lot of time to prepare, but it's something that we all look forward to every single year. Over the years, the kids and I have done lots of different crafts. We've baked different breads. We've had so many fun things that we could do for St. Nicholas Day. There are so many great websites that you can check out. One of our absolute favorite websites that we always like to use around St. Nicholas Day is the stnicholascenter.org. You can find anything that you want on that website. There's so many different crafts and recipes and just different traditions from all around the world. Since St. Nicholas is so important to our family, I thought I would share a little bit with you about him. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.